All right, what's going on guys? Uh, it's early in the morning, heading into work. Uh, about to sit in a crap load of traffic, which is Cincinnati for you. I'm gonna have a really productive day like every day. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a few cars, um, a few get some deliveries done. And when I say delivery, uh, it means I sit down with the customer and go over the entire car. You know, they've test driven the car, they finally bought the car from the salesman, I sit down with them. Uh, go over the entire car, tell them how everything works, where everything's located, how to start it. I mean, everything. I go over the entire car. And yeah, I mean, it's a fairly simple task. Um, they enjoy it. I enjoy it. Especially when we get to do AMGs. That's pretty cool to teach them how to drive an AMG. Because there's a few people that are... Um, when We sold a few GTSs from... I think we've sold four, three GTSs from our dealership and you get to teach them how to launch it. We don't actually launch it, but we go through the steps of launching the car. It's kind of like, get, like getting at like the presidential nuclear briefcase. You turn a key and then like, oh, press some buttons, hold a paddle shifter, I mean, it's crazy. But uh, we're gonna start a cool time lapse right now. Yes, one more time. Okay guys, work was good, it was good. Um, it's raining again, it's all it does around here is rain, it's like Seattle for that matter. Um, leaving here, getting gas, and then meeting my girlfriend for dinner. So let's go. Yes, one more time. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and fill her up and then head to Outback. say steamed vegetables they mean one giant piece of broccoli I mean this thing was like a tree on my plate it was giant it was really good though um, well I, I count my calories I don't know if you guys know that I don't think I've mentioned that yet in a video uh, but I count my calories and I use a app called my fitness pal so I just type in what I'm eating so it was called grill or barbecue chicken on the barbie or something chicken grilled chicken on the barbie something like that um if you didn't know we went to outback steakhouse that's why i said barbie um it was a total of 496 calories if that 
Um, it was extremely good. Uh, my protein levels right now are like through the roof, um, which is great. Um, sugars and fats are really low right now, which is good, as well as my sodium. Um, I, I'm not an expert on where I should be um, with the, sorry. I'm not an expert on where I need to, where I should be um, with proteins. So I know I should be consuming about my weight in protein, if more. Definitely more. Um, my carbs, I can't remember. I think it's like 250 a day. I, I can't remember. But I know for a fact you need to be eating more uh, than your weight in protein. These roads are terrible. But it was very good, extremely good. We also had a blooming onion. If you don't know what that is, it's literally the, an onion that is bloomed like a flower. And it has like a sauce in the middle. It's really good. Um, she had dessert, I didn't. Uh, which she can. Doesn't matter. Uh, she's, she's also a very fit person, uh, my girlfriend. She uh, goes to the gym when she can. She's a very busy person. Uh, but she tries to get there every day of the week, but she, for the most part, I say it's like three, four times a week. Um, yesterday was an off night for me. I didn't end up going. Uh, I was just in too much pain. I've been really sore lately, so I've just been, I took a day off. It's basically about my body telling me that I need to take an off day. I haven't had one in a while, which is been bad, honestly. Um, I went to bed around 10 o'clock, which is a good thing. Um, I normally can never fall asleep that early, uh, but I went to I went to bed at around 10, which is awesome. I actually fell asleep, woke up a few times during the night, which is typical of me going to bed that early. Um, but it was good. So transitioning here, um, talk about cars. Let's talk about cars. I don't do that enough, I feel like. I feel like I'm talking more about myself than I am about cars. So, cars are awesome, period. <laughs> um, I'm looking into buying a new car. If you guys didn't know, I drive a 2000, uh, early 2000 Volkswagen Golf. It's not a GTI, it's just a Golf. Um, it's an automatic, unfortunately. I prefer to drive a stick shift. Speaking of stick shift, going off topic, I drove an Evo today. Insane. I like them. Would never buy one though. We'll save that for another video though. Um, but yeah, I'm looking into buying a new car. I have it down to two cars that I want to get. Um, it's either going to be a Mark 6. I'll tell you why a little bit in another video why I won't buy a Mark 7. But a Mark 6 Volkswagen GTI or Golf R, if I can find one for a good price. I can't find one that's like reasonably priced. Um, or a Hawkeye, which is I think an 07, 2007 STI. Now, those are two very different cars in the sense. Well, not extremely different, but body definitely and performance wise, definitely. Um, but I really, really like the STI for the all wheel drive. Um, the sound oh my gosh the look of them I drove a I wish I would have started vlogging back then but we had a car at Mercedes an STI at Mercedes at Hawkeye and it had 600 all-wheel horsepower this thing was insane I, it, it was built to withstand a thousand horsepower and it had over 20 it was twenty thousand dollars worth of work done to the engine the guy who built it was just a beast. The car was just a beast. It was so fast. The turbo was massive. I took it to Cars and Coffee one morning, and people were just like, dang, this thing is nuts. I'm like, I know. But um, we ended up selling it for like 30 grand, and I really wanted to buy the car, but I'm like, that is just way too much money for me. Well, not for, I could afford that, but that's just way too much money for that car. Um, but for how much work was done to it, I gotta say that was probably reasonably priced. The car only had 24,000 miles. So actually in the end, I guess that's a reasonably priced car. I guess I'm just saying it's too expensive uh, due to the fact that it's an 07. So I'm, 
I've seen R32, Volkswagen R32s go for around 20, so I can't be saying anything like that. But I'm also looking at a Mark 6 GTI, like I said. I, I, I fell in love with them when they came out. I love the Mark 7, but again, I would, I, if I'm going to buy one, it's going to be brand new if I'm buying a Mark 7, and it's going to be the auto mod. So that's like almost 40 grand right there. And that's a little steep right now. I'm looking at a Mark 6 because I fell in love with them again. Yeah, I fell in love with them in high school. A good friend of mine bought one in high school, and it, I was obsessed with it. It was just beautiful. It was white. It was lowered about two inches, and it was just a perfect ride height. Um, he kept it. It was pretty much stock. It had a blow-off valve in it like from HKS, and it, it sounded cool. And I was just, At the time, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. It makes up sound when he shifts gears. But, I mean, that was then. I mean, yeah, I'll do it now, but I'm going to get it tuned by, like, APR or something. Because I know what I'm doing now, for the most part. But, um, yeah, those are the two cars I'm looking at. Uh, right now, I'm definitely leaning towards the GTI due to the fact that uh, the interior is absolutely amazing. Nothing against the STI, but it is kind of bland in there when it comes to interior. GTI never fails to amaze me. I love plaid. That's a big uh, color scheme I like. My bed sheets are plaid. A blanket on top of my bed sheets is plaid. I mean, I just love plaid. I've got a lot of flannels. Um, but I love the plaid seats. They're heated. Uh, Sirius XM is a big thing because I like listening to talk shows and stuff like that. Like Howard Stern. Don't hate on me because I like Howard Stern. Whatever, do it. I don't care. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, Bluetooth is a big thing. Um, finally, I'll be able to purchase a stick shift car because I prefer to drive stick shift, like I said. Uh, I think it's 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 better on gas. It's a lot more fun. You have more control of the car. Uh, it's a lot better. It's uh, As a car guy, you want a stick shift. This person in front of me is driving so slow. But, um, yeah. Hopefully I can, you know, find the right car within the, you know, I'm planning on buying it within the next few months, so stay tuned for that. Uh, this car right now is at 2,000, it's at about 96,000 miles, which is amazing. I bought the car with around 60,000, well actually the car was a gift. Um, if it wasn't, because at the time I was really into cars, but I wasn't really into the stick shift type deal. But this is an amazing car, I love it. Oh, excuse me. It's green. It's got uh, roof racks. I don't know if you can. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Yeah, but it's got the roof racks. People really like those for some reason. Um, and I've got a Euro plate on the front, which I thought it has my nickname. My nickname is Cargozo. Like friends called me that in high school, and I was like, oh, why not get it on a Euro plate? But it looks really cool. It's like a Denmark Euro plate, uh, yellow or something. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and sign off here because the video. As of right now, this part of the video is coming up on almost 10 minutes, which is crazy. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, I know the videos aren't getting that many views now, and I, f I feel like my videos are getting better as you know time progresses. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to you know attracting more people to the videos. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the video, uh, please tell me what you think below. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I, I can take criticism. Please tell me what I what I can do to improve. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, have a great day.